Hi guys. Yeah, I'm going to do lots of these sort of random short videos. And this one's going to be about a news headline that I heard on the radio earlier. Apparently, French riot police have been in clashes with England supporters again. Um, violent clashes. Now, even before the Euro Cup kicked off, Russia and England were involved, or the, a group of fans on each side, were involved in violent clashes before it had even started. And again, um, Russia attacked English fans, I should say Russian fans attacked English fans, in the stands. Um, now, the um, UEFA, they did warn that if Russia and England, Russian and England fans kept up with the violence, even though it is a, mon a minority, considering the thousands of English fans over there and the thousands of Russian fans, a couple of hundred of each, I think they worked out it was about 150 Russian supporters. Um, the UEFA did warn that if it continued, they would disqualify both teams. Um, and last I heard, Russia has already received a suspension. So after tonight, it looks like England could very well either be booted out of the Euro, Euro Cup or suspended as well. But why is it football or soccer is the only fucking sport over here where you've got to have the fucking riot police out to control fans? I know it's only a small group, but the fact is there. French police in Marseille have had to bring out fucking riot police to control fans. You don't have to do that for any other sport. In fact, for any other sport, you don't need the fucking police, full stop. But you do at every football game, even at our local Norwich City Stadium at Carrow Road. There's police on patrol there, just in case any fans do decide to kick off, because it does happen. It's absolutely... just fucking ridiculous. You don't get snooker fans doing it, you don't get basketball fans doing it, not to my knowledge anyway. If anyone in America knows whether such violence occurs at hockey games and baseball games etc and other American sports and let me know but to my knowledge I've never heard of it anyway. But it does make me feel a bit disgusted at them pissed off, ashamed to say that I'm English. You know, look at the English, this is what we do, we're complete fucking thugs. That's the, that's the impression that that small group is given, giving out I should say, that the English are football hooligans. We are known to be football hooligans actually. And it's sad, it really is, that people just can't fucking behave at a simple sport. I was going to go on to another part of football that I hate, but I'm going to leave it at that because it isn't really the same thing. But yeah. So I think every time something like this that I feel I can talk about or have a little rant about or whatever, I'm going to put it on camera and put it up on YouTube. I'm going to give out my opinions. Why not? Every other fucker does. I'm entitled to an opinion. Feel free to discuss it down in the doohickey below, in the comments, you know. I would prefer that uh, discussions were kept civil, but uh, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> if I ever get comments on such videos like this, but I know if I do, asking people, you lot to be civil. I'm always, well, 
looking at comments on other YouTubers' videos, you're always going to get the ass hats out there, so. But yay. I welcome the ass hats as well. Anyway, that's it for this video, so cheerio.